So could there be a cure for cancer coming up? Early trials of a potential cancer treatment in which white blood cells are modified to target certain types of diseases have been, quote, extraordinary in their success. In one study, in fact, 94% of participants suffering from an acute form of leukemia said their symptoms vanished completely after they were treated. Olivia Ware and Gary Kirsten are with me now. They're not scientists, but they're, been, they're both are involved in companies seeking a cure for different kinds of cancers out there. This story out yesterday was just absolutely phenomenal, Olivia. We hear this kind of stuff all the time, uh, but it feels like we are getting closer and closer. Are we? Yes, we are. I mean, I'm incredibly excited about all of the different approaches that researchers are taking towards the treatment of cancer because there are so many patients out there who are looking for hope in their diseases, and there's so much opportunity for us to uh, help those patients. Gert, the, the, one of the things that's been popular over the last 10 years at least, it's been sort of a targeted approach uh, in medicine. Is, is that how it's going to be solved? Because cancer mutates, and that's been one of the big obstacles. I'm not sure there's one approach. Cancer is so many different diseases. You've got cancer at different stages. People think of one cancer as one disease. Let's say breast cancer, it's got different treatment options for different stages. So you have to break it down into masses of different diseases. So there will be different approaches. Targeted works in certain areas, but also the tumor mutates all the time. So what's targeted today may not, and fits, may not fit anymore tomorrow. So there will be many approaches. At the State of the Union, President Obama uh, tasked uh, Vice President Biden with, uh, with the challenge of helping to find a cure for cancer. And uh, they set aside $1 billion in, in a new budget. They're calling it a moonshot. Well, there have been billions put into this research, Olivia. Do we need a moonshot, or is it just really a matter of, of, of being a little bit more focused? I mean, you've, it feels like the scientific community is telling us we're almost there. I think that what's exciting about what President Obama said is that wanting to devote resources and to be uh, collaborative in how we approach this problem. But I think I want to certainly uh, say that as researchers and in our field have been making immense progress towards the fight for cancer. So there have been m many, many advances over the last several years. You guys, though, are, you're in the private sector. Uh, you're both involved with publicly traded companies. And the government also is saying, hey, we can find a cure. Is there, is there a problem with resources when the government says they want to do it, the White House says, hey, let us take it this, or when it's private companies that are leading the charge? Who should be leading this charge? Oh, it's clearly the private sector. A billion dollars in this sector is nothing. Okay, so much money is spent. People have in the past proposed that we merge companies because there's so many little companies. It doesn't work. Tiny differences in a, in a drug can make the difference between massive toxicity, no toxicity, working or not working. So we all need to pursue our approaches and they will either die or they will survive in the clinical trial. Before we wrap this up, I want to put you on the spot a little bit and maybe you can give me a time frame for a general cure to cancer. Not all cancers, but a big leap. Uh, are we talking five, ten years or, or later than that? We are at the end of our phase three clinical trial. Our basic idea is to boost your immune system. We're the only ones in the world doing that. Before your particular you company. Get, or our company. So you could be on the cusp. You could, your company could be on the cusp is what you're saying. We hope to get final data readouts in maybe two, two and a half years. We are boosting the immune system while it's still healthy because everybody else boosts the immune system after, after radiation and chemo. What do you think, Olivia? Well, again, uh, the private sector has been doing a great job in this area. Our years? company, uh, for many years, but it continues to improve. Our How company many years has. Before perhaps we have some sort of. Uh, Cure or near a cure? Like Garrett, we have a product that's in late phase three right. development. So you're saying within five years or less, certainly. That our patients in soft tissue sarcoma should see some advances, and we hope that our product will be there to provide that for okay. patients. Guys, thank you both very, very much.